What do you enjoy most about your career in the RAF and what has been your career highlight so far? The diversity that you get within the Air Force, whether that be the job role, um, whether it's the people that you meet or the places you get to go, quite unique that, you know, as the, our employer, the, the Air Force supported us to kind of follow our dreams of, of playing international rugby and being able to commit to that full time while still having that job security of if anything goes wrong or at the end of it, you know, you've got a career to fall back on. So um, that's huge. What was your most surprising moment while in service? For me, probably um, back when, uh, probably 2015, when uh, Wing Commander Jackson rang me and asked me, um, he said, do you want to play rugby full time? And I was like, come on, Jacko, that's not really a feasible thing. <laughs> like, no, there's an opportunity for you to be able to go and play rugby on a full time basis. And um, that surprised me a lot because I didn't, at the time, I wasn't sure if, uh, elite athlete status was available for female athletes. I thought at the time it was available for male male athletes that were at big clubs, and um, the support was for mainly male male dominated sports. So um, that was a big surprise, and I jumped at the opportunity. What kind of exciting opportunities have you had so far in your Royal Air Force career? <laughs> uh, obviously, playing rugby on a full time basis was the biggest of opportunities. Um, I would never have been able to have that opportunity if it wasn't for the Royal Air Force. Nobody in who plays for Wales has had the opportunity to be able to play on a full-time basis. And it was really unique at that time. And I was extremely lucky that the Royal Air Force offered that opportunity for me. What advice would you give to someone thinking about joining who is also really into sport? Just do it. You know, it doesn't... Like me and Sean obviously talk from almost an elite sport perspective, but... It doesn't matter if you're elite or you just like sport or you like staying active. There's so many different um, sports and clubs and organisations um, within the RAF that, um, that that you have the opportunity to be a part of and to do. Um, and, you know, we like to say it's not time off for sport. It's like time for sport. I think that's like a big thing that we try and push in, in the Air Force is that, you know, you shouldn't have to like take leave to to be involved in your in your sport um that's part of what makes the military and the air force um quite unique and um so definitely just join up and get amongst it get as much as many sports as you can get as much time off as you can for it <laughs> what do your family and civilian friends think about what you do in the royal air force coming from a background of none of my family are part of the military um they've been nothing but supportive and they love the fact that i'm part of the Royal Air Force and um, all the opportunities that I've had uh, as a person and for my career um, I'm really supported and same goes with friends I think um, wherever I am in the world or wherever I am in the UK it doesn't really matter my friends are always there regardless when I go home so um, I'm supported no me no end. What are your future aspirations within the Royal Air Force and why? So I want to continue to serve in the Royal Air Force for probably for as long as I possibly can. Um, I'd like to say Station Warrant Officer Bryce Norton, but <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. But obviously I really enjoy my career. I've got no, um, no future plans to do anything else but continue my career. You know, there's potential that I could commission, but we'll just see what happens when it happens. What words of advice would you give fellow females looking to join the Royal Air Force today? First of all, just tell them to, if they're second guessing it, get down to your local careers office, have a look what jobs that there are because there was there will be a job that suits any female, any any sort of job that you think that you possibly want to go into, there, there will be something available for you. So regardless of whether you've got been to university and you've got a degree or like me you've joined straight up straight up from school um there's opportunities for anyone regardless of of that so just go into your local Africa have a look and join up because like me and Amy you, you won't regret it